Let's have a crack at one of my favorite simulator tracks. Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome to Zolder. This is the Grand Prix track. We're in the Skippies today. And uh, I'm looking good. Well, my pace was today anyway. I had a best lap time before from a previous season of a 46 six did a seven laps practice got down to a 46 zero um i'm finding it hard the first couple of laps just to keep it nice and stable and really pursue my pace but an optimal of a 45 seven i think all of those optimal sectors were done today as well down to an anti-roll bar of three I like to lean on the front and not have the rear kick out as much. So it's looking good. And we've qualified in six. We're car nine. Your mate Robert is down in 14th, but he is a much better racer than I am. Um, I'm expecting him to get lots of freebies and I hope I'm not one of them. <laughs> so it is my favorite track because um, my first simulator Proper simulator I got into was uh, Race Room Extreme or Race Room 3, I think it's called. And I did a lot of laps and really learnt simulating, simulated driving from this track. So it's just, I don't know, it's a, a sentimental thing, I think, more than anything. Good luck, track everyone. Temp is 17 Celsius, V6. All right, Glenn, get ready. Let's go. Wow. Nice jump start. <laughs> what? Mark, jump to the fucking start move of 10 seconds. Left side. Keep it steady. Three wide, you're on the right. Still there. On your left. Clear to the left. Bro, that is fine from, um... In the skippies, the suspension travel, you can really abuse the corners more so than any other car. If I was doing these lines in the F3, it would destroy the suspension. Well, we survived the first chicane, which is usually notorious on lap one for getting punted off. I got rear wing then. Yeah, mate. Cheers. <laughs> the right one. Going into the pits. Looks like P5's gone off in. He's blocked. Ah oh, man, he's off. Alright, let's go racing. What the fuck was that, Dutch? Come on, Knuckles. He says he's going in the pit, and it fails to realise that I'm going to break the corner because I'm not going in the fucking pit. <sighs> You're straight in the back of me. I'm glad that he followed me then. Alright, this you is never good. Move out of the way. Okay, Glenn, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. What do you mean, move out of the way? I'm going to fucking race tonight. You went straight in the back of me. Far one, three wide, stay right. Hold your line. Robert, what the fuck was that? Far one, man. Hold your line. Clear away. Left side. Clear away. Nice move, knackers. Just what gotta... was that? 
capitalize on you ruin other the people. Race of both of us. I was doing that in practice, dragging the inside front. I was losing so the much time. On your right. Don't hit me. <laughs> Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Still there. Still there. Clear right. But keep doing what you're doing. This is spot on. B3. Yeah, it's already got some gear problems. Hold your line. Clear on the left. Come on, Knackers. Car right. Losing so much time. Still there. Keep it steady. Still there. Clear right. Car right. Clear right. Car right. Good way to warm the tires up. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Still there. Clear right. Thanks, crew chief. Come on, knuckers. So I just got to get into a rhythm because once this field cleanses, it's going to be all about pace. And I reckon these guys might have a little beyond me, but we'll see. Come on, knuckers. Alright, we've got space now. Let's find pace with space. <laughs> Car in front lap time is at 147.02. P4. It's your best lap in this session. That's why I don't set my anti-roll bar too far to the rear. Lane on the front. Incident in the first chicane. Looks like it's Hernandez. We've had a cut warning. Keep it tidy. One side, we're all out. Don't panic. Right side. Clear right, right side, clear to the right, far right, clear right, you're clear. That could have been so much worse, but it was parked right on the chicane. Don't do it, knuckers. On your left. Hold your line. He's still there. Hold your line. On your right. Just slows everyone down, mate. Keep it steady. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Clear to the right. Far right. Still there. Keep it steady. Clear right. That's a new fastest lap for Garcia. 
Thanks, buddy. There was no contact there at all. Come on, knuckles. See what I mean about suspension travel? <laughs> no X, no damage, and a green delta. The top five again. Okay, Glenn, there'll be chances here. Let's make sure we can take them. E5. Fastest lap for Roberts. 146.13. That's your quickest lap. The gap to Roberts in front is now 0.8. It's all good. So yeah, by lap seven, these tires in practice earlier came right on song. This day is going in the fifth day. Check, check. Uh, line ball pretty much with the last lap. Lead a bit faster. Come on. Has just done a 145.85. That's your fastest lap. Sector 3 is 0.38 off the pace. Let's keep that delta as green as I can. See how we're travelling against Felix. I'm pretty sure Nicholas has got some pretty good pace up there. Come on. X, yes, a nice yes, slow down, easy tiger. There we go, come on. The leader has just done a These two are monstered away from me. Bit by bit, sector by sector. Gap to Roberts ahead is increasing. It's now 2.7 seconds.
Looks like the leader has gone off in the first chicane. Yellow flag. Caution. Brady. Hernandez is reeling you in. The gap's now 5.5 seconds. Oh, good, mate. Damn, come on. Can't afford to be. Stream one, two, three. Missing them gears like that. In fact, it should be. And I got punted on the first lap, so. Me, Felix, and Nick, one, two, three. Hanging in there for the moment. Nice one, Glenn. You're looking really good. Come on, keep your focus. P4. Wide. Come on. Not do that at an F3. That would have destroyed my car. Not certain parts, it would just be totaled. That's better. I mean, if you look at the world records, the top 25 are in the 44s in race pace. A 46 is not overly impressive, but it's competitive ish. Come on, Knackers. Someone like okay, Ivan Hernandez so behind me and it should be it's right on my ass by now. So the leader has just done a 145.66. The lap time was at 146.71. Getting that nose in. Come on. My optimal is not even the lap time that the leader just got. See, it knows. Steer with the nose, mate. Not the tyres. <laughs> Formula 3, I think because the suspension is so brittle and stiff, you steer with the tyres, but in this car, you want the nose to hit the apex. And it seems that when I talk my way through it, <laughs> I go a bit faster. That's it. There's my pace. That is almost a 45. So that's right in line with my best lap earlier. That's your best lap in the session. Sector 2 is 0.43 off the pace.
And these skippies, oh, I love the tire model they on need this. A hook. Oh, unlucky. We've got a race on our hands up ahead. Let's keep plugging away. Come on, knackers. I keep forgetting my camera's been knocked on my foot cam. <laughs> it's not supposed to be a dynamic image. Set it up, come on. So Nicholas is, who was right there in front of me, has pushed his way into the lead, so I expected that. D4, that was a 146.42. 62 is 0.6 off the pace. Up to Ahead is now I'm getting there, mate. I'm getting there. Oh, look at that. Come on, knackers. Two laps left. The guy behind has just done a 145.55. So six tenths, bloody fast lap, but I'm far enough away at this pace, without mistakes, to get right up there. Well, to keep away from him, sorry. No mistakes, mate. Come on. The gap to Brandstetter ahead is now 2.7. Could be a podium. No, come on. So I've got him at the first half of the lap, and he's got me in the middle. So I keep referring to my OBS, which has got my data. Sector 2 is 0.6 off the pace.
Be bending. The first chicane. It looks like Roberts. Oh. Flag. Right side. I told you it could be a podium. Not over yet. Today. Great racing, Good guys. Driver. It was so much Great fun. Drive. That's a podium. Good race, guys. You had some good timing in that last year. That was so much fun. And just to show that there's something going on with iRacing tyres at the moment, referring back to my old video, which I'll put a link up there from last week. The pressures are there. The temperatures are there. But the tread percentage on the skippies, I thought there was an anomaly in my previous practice session, but last hot pressure, 200, 195, 200, 204. Temperatures on the inside, 80s in the rear, mid 70s, mid 60s. So I could have leaned on the car more with the left handers. There's just a lot less left handers. <laughs> that was awesome. Where did Robert finish? Damn. Look, car nine, qualified six, finished third. Far out, man. That was a lot better performance than I expected. And I really put it down to my feeling with the wheel. Now that I've got this, a lot of people are disagreeing, going, saying that you should be using more of the David Sampson um, ideology. But this, for me, works for on-center feel. And I'm just, like, my pace was so much better. I had a 46.6 previous best. And I was down to the 46.4s very consistently. That was my pace. And every now and then I'd put a good one in. But a 46.6 with all that on the last lap, I'm extremely happy with my performance today. <laughs> that was... Fantastic race. Now, I had a quick look at the world records for this week. Um, best race time was a 45.2 this week. Sorry, that's 50. So the top guys, Ivan Hernandez will be here somewhere. 44.2. That's the best race time. Um, best practice time is a 44.5. Uh, best quality time is a 45.1, which shows that there's um, not much time in the first couple of laps of the skippies. But either way, I'm a fist pumping over that. Podium in the skippies, in the top split, in what was... A race that's not over yet. Weird finishing up the front. <laughs> Where is Mr. Plumley? So this one's a uh, Christian Perez again. The race that I looked at that you look at results of a previous race and he I think it was him actually got disqualified. Right. Do we have data today? Yes we do. No, we don't. Wow, not used to being this fast. So that means the other splits are still going. Wow, six splits, that was the top. Come on, guys. But while we're waiting, um, go check out my Discord page. There's a thing in the general chit chat 
section of um, I'm looking for ideas of people um, off anybody really so the first time you jumped into iRacing what are the things that you yourself would um, uh, recommend someone else do remember the first time you jumped on a track and there was no delta box there was no relative um, certain things with steering braking graphics uh, my personal thing is to turn the shadows right down to improve performance um, at different frame rates um, Mick told me that locking it in at 120 for a 144 hertz display really stabilizes um, uh, flow with the frames per second anything if you've got any ideas jump on my gist, uh, like discord channel and let me know what you think I'm going to spend a day or two, oh, sorry, a week or two formulating notes and just have a really long um, video with chapters that you can refer to at any time. So that was a podium for Knackers, 78 points. I haven't been 24.57 I rating in so long. <laughs> but when you feel good about yourself and you feel good about how you're driving, you do drive a lot better. 133 championship points and a blank safety rating with the 2x um but it's good to see that the guy who won it he ended up having a battle at, at on the last lap with nicholas he was the fastest guy on the track he got a 45 2 very nice time robert ended up finishing the race unfortunately lost a lot of i rating well thanks for watching guys Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Danny, if you didn't, make sure you subscribe and come check me out on Twitch. And I'll see you next time. Bye.